Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. You, he's talking to the city, Jerusalem, that kill the prophets and the messengers of God and stone them that are sent to you. He says, how often, this is Jesus speaking, how often would I have gathered your children together? He would have loved to brought the people of God, the children of Jerusalem, the Jewish people together, even as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings. You know, this is such a sad lament, such a sad thing here. And here's a picture of a hen. Um, so it looks like that hen is looking for food or maybe his chicks, her chicks, I mean. And so he said, I would have loved, I really longed, strongly desired, really wanted to bring your children together, even as a hen brings her chicks, the little ones, under the wings. He wanted to bring the children of God or the children of Israel underneath his care under his wings, so to speak. Jesus doesn't have wings, so it's a picture. He'd have loved to have done that. But he says, but you would not. In other words, they didn't want it. They didn't want to submit to God. Eh, there's some who did, but most of them didn't. Then he said, behold, your house is left unto you desolate. What is the house talking about? Well, it could be the house of Israel. It's used a lot in the Bible. Could it be the temple? is desolate, means empty and destroyed. It's like no good anymore. It's corrupt, it's decaying, it's no good, it's ruined. Or it could be the um, Jerusalem, you know, the whole Jerusalem city, because he's talking to Jerusalem. Notice how he repeats it. He says, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Lots of tenderness, lots of affection, lots of love. Jesus was full of compassion. Now, if you remember, he just said, woe unto you, woe unto you, woe unto you, like seven times uh, over and over. Just woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. And he's judging them and it's, take, it's coming strong. And then right here, the next verse, and Matthew put it there for a pr purpose because it really happened at this time. He said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And he, I believe he wept. He was crying as he said this. So you can't get the attitude or the idea that Jesus was tough and hard and cold and uh, he's full of compassion for these people. And so he told him like it was and then he probably walked out of the, of the temple and he probably walked like on the, um, on the eastern side of Jerusalem. So if I took this up here and drew a quick picture of it, it would be something like this. Um, if you remember, Jerusalem maybe looks something like this. It went like this, and it came down, and it came over, and then it came over here, and then it went over here, and then it comes up, and then it goes here, and it goes like this. Something like that. It looks like a jar or something. It's not exactly right, but anyway. And then he went probably out this way. See, he went over here. And then, do you remember, he has to go through this valley, Kidron Valley, and then right here you have these these mountains of of uh, of um, what do you call it? How we call it? Mount of Olives. Okay. Or I could have I could have like drawn it this way. I could have drawn it like this, like this. You know. So you have these mountains here, smaller ones and big ones. So it's mountain Mount Olives. Or maybe it's just one, um, I think it's three peaks, kind of if, if I can't if I remember. But anyway, this is the mountains right here. It's in this area right there, Mount of Olives. And he probably is walking through and started climbing this and he turned around and looked back and he said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Now, I don't know if the Pharisees heard this. It doesn't say. Um, it could have been just the disciples. But here's an actual picture. Remember, he came on the east, eastern side and this is what Jerusalem would have looked like. I've shown this before. There's the word Jerusalem, right? There, can you see it? And then here it is, this is what he saw. Like right, I'll bring it up close in a little bit. This is what he looked at and said, oh, Yerushalom, you know, Jer Jerusalem, Jerusalem, city of peace. And so he came, um, he came out probably and looked at Jerusalem there and then he uh, wept over it, started crying over it. And then he, uh, that's what he would have seen right there, Jerusalem, um, that city right there, how it looked. Um, and he, he just, 
really super sad. And then he goes on and says, remember, your house is going to be desolate. In other words, he's predicting this. And it did. 40 years later, wiped out. The whole city was burned down. The temple was burned, like down. Desolate, just ruined, empty. And then he says, for, then he goes on and says, in the ending here, for I, say unto you, for I say unto you, you shall not see me from here on out. Henceforth, like, not going to see me. Bye. I mean, it's super sad. He really gave them a chance. He gave the Jewish people a chance to get, the, get it right. Some did, most of them didn't. And the leadership, well, most of them didn't. And so he said, you're not going to see me again. Until, then he goes on and explains that, till you shall say, and this is what's going to happen in the future, I believe it's the second coming of Jesus, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Does that sound familiar? Remember when he entered the gates of Jerusalem from that same side, from the Mount of Olives side, and, uh, and the people cried out, blessed, is the name, blessed are you in the name of the Lord. No, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We said, this is what, you're going to say it again. Everyone's going to say it, but it's at the end of time this next time. So there it is. Wow. Behold the compassions of God. Behold, the behold. check it out. Look at it. The, bl the blood of Jesus, the love of Jesus, the heart of Jesus, all that. You know, just really pouring out his heart. And it shows that Jesus wasn't, well, forget you all, walked away. He, he said, oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how I would have longed to have had you come under my care. But you would not. And then he said, you're, you know, what's going to happen is your house is going to be desolate and you're not going to see me henceforth until I come, until you guys say again, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. It's talking about Jesus in that passage. Anyway, there it goes. Really sad passage here. That's the end of Matthew 23, by the way. What a chapter. All right. God bless you for listening.